Marty, these papers say the accused child molester lived lavishly for more than half a year as Osceola detectives search far and wide for him. All their hard work paid off because tonight he's here at the Osceola County Jail. This Osceola County business owner was headed to a courtroom to face child molestation charges last fall, but instead he had his eyes set on the sunny skies and white sandy beaches of the Bahamas. Loomis Wheeler Jr. entrusted his business associate, Patrice Bullard, to go to surreal lengths to keep him under the radar. Wheeler's run from the law began when Bullard picked him up in Kissimmee and drove him to Miami. He stayed at a Ramada Inn for two days. Then he hid out in a boat and paid a guy thousands of dollars to take him to the Bahamas. Only Eyewitness News obtained these arrest papers from the Osceola County Courthouse. They detail how the owner of Horse World was flush with cash. He told the federal agent he had around $30,000 on him when he escaped shortly after he cut off his GPS ankle monitor. The paperwork says Bullard paid a man in the Bahamas to care for and hide Wheeler from authorities. That man was in touch with Osceola detectives and told them he lost track of Wheeler in mid-December. That was right after he called family members in St. Cloud to ask for more money for Wheeler. Days later, Bullard showed up and disappeared with Wheeler. The papers also detail how he bounced around between several residences. Mr. Wheeler, did you expect to be on the run forever? Last week, Wheeler and the woman who helped him disappear were arrested. Do you have anything to say about Miss Bullard's arrest? No. And the papers say she denied any knowledge on how he skipped town. And Patrice Bullard remains locked up here at the Osceola County Jail, charged with accessory after the fact. Loomis Wheeler is also locked up here. They both turned down my request for a jailhouse interview. Live in Kissimmee in Osceola County, Ryan Hughes, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.